weather. Well, Hurricane Barrel restrengthened to a major hurricane category three status right now with 115 mile per hour sustained winds. As a cat three, it's going to approach the area in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The eye may pass just south of Cozumel early tomorrow morning, our time 7 a.m. And then it moves across the Yucatan Peninsula about 12 to 13 hours, then reemerges over the Gulf of Mexico. Here's a 10 o'clock advisory. Movement is west at 16. There you see the satellite imagery of this extremely powerful storm that began to weaken some earlier today south of the Caymans, but then it started to get that eye back. The central core is back, so it's still a beast of a hurricane that's moving across Mexico and now headed toward or moving into Mexico and then headed across the Gulf of Mexico later on this weekend. I think it's going to be a category one hurricane as it approaches the far northeastern edge of Mexico or south Texas late Sunday into Monday, and then it just stalls over south Texas as Storms often do when they get into that zone. The upper air winds can't really move the bigger part of the core, so the moisture just gets spread out. And the rip currents and the surge that comes from this, these big areas of rough surf, they develop across the northern Gulf Coast, even though we're 500 miles away from that in Mobile and Baldwin counties and then across the Florida Panhandle. Going to be a high risk of rip currents for the upcoming weekend down at the Alabama Gulf Coast. And ultimately, we think some of the moisture from Barrel will give us a better chance of some scattered showers and storms next week, but I don't see it being an all day. Everybody gets rain kind of thing. We're back up to 81 after having dropped into the upper 70s with a brief thunderstorm just before the fireworks started going off in Birmingham this evening. It's still going to be sticky though. Early tomorrow morning, 79 tomorrow afternoon, getting to 92. The heat index short of the timeline of thunderstorms here. I, this is just brutal feeling like 108 in Alabaster, Brighton 109 at Childersburg tomorrow, 105 in Gadsden. Now there will be some thunderstorms. They're going to start coming in from the northwest in the morning hours, and this alone may help to save us from the worst of the heat index, and it may also be a few strong storms in there as well with some intense lightning, gusty winds, heavy rainfall. That's two o'clock in the afternoon, and then another wave is going to develop on into the evening. Here's the good news behind that. There's a weak cool front that will move in on Saturday, sort of cuts the state in half. I think south of I-20, there's a chance of some storms north of I-20. It's getting less humid. Sunday just looks dry and hot, and then next week the tropical humidity will lead to a daily chance of scattered storms. Julian.